Congressional Republicans are back in Washington in after this meeting with President Trump at a uh, retreat. retreat, yeah, that they had in Philly. Lawmakers discussed their upcoming agenda, and the president called on them to approve his plan for the border wall. But there was some pushback about how to pay for Mr. Trump's signature campaign promise. Nancy Cordes was at the GOP summit and joins us from Capitol Hill. Nancy, some Republicans have balked at the cost of building a border wall, which would fall on taxpayers. Where does the debate go from here? Well, they're still waiting for the White House to uh, lay out exactly how uh, it believes it can best get Mexico to pay for the wall. I will say that this is something that uh, the White House is much more focused on than Republican lawmakers here on Capitol Hill, who by and large already assume that if this wall is going to be built, it's going to be paid for by U.S. taxpayers. Uh, there isn't really a workable way, many Republican lawmakers feel, to actually force Mexico to pay for a wall that they don't don't want. Now, there was some discussion, uh, as you saw yesterday, about the notion of a 20 percent border tax or some kind of border tax, if it's not 20 percent, some, some other level, of um, imports coming into the U.S. from Mexico and from other places. And the White House might try to frame that as uh, the way that it is forcing Mexico to pay for the wall. But that is uh, pretty controversial because there are many Republicans in Congress who feel that a tax like that simply gets passed on to the U.S. consumer anyway in the form of higher prices for those goods. Um, the other complicating factor is that that border tax would have to be part of a larger comprehensive tax reform bill, and that is something that Congress has tried but failed to do for many years now. Uh, Nancy, let me ask you about another subject. Uh, President Trump has said he's open to some methods of torture. He says he believes that waterboarding works. Uh, he says we have to fight fire with fire. Waterboarding is illegal in this country. How did that discussion go down at the meeting in Philly? Well, Republicans were pretty relieved, Vlad, that it actually didn't come up in Philadelphia. The president uh, had prepared remarks. He had a teleprompter. He uh, more or less stuck to those remarks, and he didn't bring up torture or some of these other uh, topics that have sort of derailed him uh, this week, uh, things like his inaugural crowd size uh, or the size of uh, his popular vote and, and whether he actually would have won the popular vote if there hadn't somehow been all of these illegal votes that he claims were cast for Hillary Clinton. Uh, he stayed away from some of those, those issues. And uh, frankly, this is a debate that Republicans just don't want to have. I asked uh, both Republican leaders, Mitch McConnell, Mitch McConnell and Paul Ryan whether uh, this is something that they'd be interested in re-examining uh, the nation's torture laws and what constitutes torture and what doesn't. And they both said they are not interested and their members are not interested. They consider this settled law. Nancy, in regards to Obamacare, Republicans have yet to unify behind a specific plan to replace it. What was said about that? Uh, well, they tried to roll out a more realistic timetable for how long it would take both to repeal the law and to replace it. You've heard President Trump say that he wants to replace it virtually on the same day that it gets repealed and that a plan is almost done. Well, that is simply uh, not the case and not realistic. Republican lawmakers are still in the early stages of figuring out a replacement for Obamacare. And so what the House Speaker said in Philadelphia was that uh, they believe that they can probably repeal large chunks of the law by March or April, but it could be the end of the year before they come up with a replacement. And part of the reason uh, is because there is some disagreement with it, within the Republican Party about what a replacement should look like. They had some small working groups in Philadelphia where they talked through some of the options, but, uh, you know, it's still early stages. The Affordable Care Act is quite complicated, and whatever replaces it will be pretty complicated, too. All right. Nancy Cordes for us. Thank you. You're welcome.